So today I was originally going to do the top five most disturbing scenes I've ever films I've ever seen, but unfortunately I couldn't think of anything to put on the compilation or much films anyway or enough films I mean. So instead I decided to do another book review today. This time back into the spine tingling world of Stephen King with the Institute. Now the story tells the tale of Luke Ellis, a gifted 12 year old boy who was actually at the moment, well, at the moment in the book, not now, that he's actually taking tests to go into like a bigger school. So like, you know, one of those gifted schools, you know, or that, that basically preps a student for college and whatnot. You know, like like AP classes, you know, that's what he's, I think, trying to get in, into. And on top of that, he also, ha also has a slight telekinetic, telekinetic ability um, that is revealed after he knocks a pizza pan over at a restaurant. Unfortunately, this trait of his attracts a secret government organization who have been going around... In mysterious in kidnapping kids in their sleep while brutally killing their parents. Now, what ends up happening to these kids is they are taking taken to this secret government facility somewhere out in the middle of nowhere. Like there's a bunch of trees surrounding the place, like it's completely cut off from any kind of like civilization. And basically what it is is a, a building that houses a bunch of kids in these little things. They're kind of like apartments, but they're actually replicas of the rooms that they were in, that they once lived in, except that there are no windows, since, you know, it's a government building. So anyway, what ends up happening here is these kids are used in experiments to try and enhance their supernatural abilities that they... the supernatural abilities that they possess. The thing is, though... They do this by brutally torturing them. And I'm talking like legit, legit torture. Like, you know, though. One of the things that they do to the children to help bring the their supernatural abilities forward is they dunk their heads in water and hold them under there until they are struggling and gasping for air and like almost drowning, basically. And they also beat them pretty brutally too and one of the more disturbing parts of the book is there's this guy who takes your temperature temperature not through the way you're thinking and the thing is he does it because he enjoys seeing these kids like so submissive he get some kind of sick pleasure out of it and that's what the scariest part of this book was a lot of these adults you know got some kind of sick pleasure out of really hurting these kids and what's worse is eventually after these kids you know get their powers you know enhanced enough they graduate to back half but the thing is no kid who has ever gone to back half has ever returned so now, with the help of the friends he's made along the way, they must team, to team up together and stand up against the corruptive hand of the Institute. One of my favorite things about this book is the characters. They just feel so real, and you, the way King develops them makes you feel almost really bad about what they're going through, because, you know, these are just normal kids who are just taken away from their homes and are really scared right now. And, you know, given that we've all been in that place of vulnerability, of not knowing what's going on and not really wanting our parents, that actually made the, you know, them really, you know, easy to sympathize with just because of that. And I felt the same way with it as well, just how scary it was just because of how vulnerable those kids in that, that book were. 
And this book has a great anti-authoritarian message as well, because there are a lot of people who will just go fucking crazy with the position of power that they're in and will just, you know, do anything they can to get anyone under their power just to be completely submissive to them. And that alone is terrifying. Anyway, I give the Institute an A+. I highly recommend it. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and sub for more content.